Hey everyone, this is Max from Lettering Daily and in this video I'll be reviewing the 10 best brush pens for calligraphy beginners. If you're just starting out or you're looking for a new brush pen to practice your calligraphy with, stick around and find out my top recommendations. Today we have such a wide choice and finding the right brush pen for you can be a bit overwhelming. This is why I've decided to create this video so I can share my knowledge and experiences on this topic. Here is a quick overview of today's video. First of all, I'll explain the different types and characteristics of brush pens. Afterwards, I'll go over my 10 recommendations for the best brush pens. If you prefer reading over watching, you can check out the article I wrote on this topic, which also covers it more in depth. You can find the link in the description. So without any further delays, let's jump right in. First of all, it's essential to understand the two main types of brush pens. We have felt tip brush pens and hair brush pens. The main difference is that the felt tip brush pen is a single piece, whereas the bristle brush tip is made out of individual hairs, pretty much like a real brush. This could be either real hairs or synthetic hairs. We are going to review the felt tip brush pens exclusively since the learning curve is much lower in comparison to the hair brush pens. Okay, now that we know the two main different types, it's time to understand the different main characteristics of brush pens. Every brush pen shares the same basic idea, a flexible tip that allows you to create lines of different sizes based on the amount of pressure you add as you write. However, different brush pens have different characteristics. It's important to understand these differences since they have a direct impact on the way you write. This means that different brush pens will give you a different look. We all have different tastes and preferences, and a brush pen that I like might not be the one you will enjoy the most. With that in mind, I decided to split these characteristics into four different points. First of all, we have size of the nib. A brush pen can have a large, medium, or a small tip. Second of all, we have nib elasticity. How firm or soft a nib is. A brush pen can have a soft, mid-firm, and a firm nib. Then we have ink flow. A brush pen can have a heavy, medium, or dry ink flow. And finally, we have color choice, which means how many different colors you can pick from. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we can get started with our list. The links to each of the brush pens will be placed in the description so you can check them out. Starting the list with a popular choice, the Tombow Dual Brush Pen. The size of the nib is large, best for medium and large size brush calligraphy. The nib elasticity is medium, leaning towards medium soft. It has a medium ink flow, not too dry and not too wet. As for color choice, this is where the Tombow really shines. You will be able to find the Tombow Dual Brush Pen in a whopping 108 different colors. Additionally, this pen comes with a second tip on the other end, hence the name. It's a smaller firm tip that can be used to fix up some details or even as a standalone tool for lettering, faux calligraphy, illustrations, etc. On top of that, the Tombow Dual Brush Pen features a water-based ink that is fully blendable with other colors. With this, you can create some really cool gradients and other colorful artwork. Next up, we have the Ecoline brush pen. The size of the nib is quite large. The nib elasticity is very soft and flexible. The ink flow is extremely wet. It creates an intriguing ombre effect, but also increases the chances of making smudges. As for the color choice, the Ecoline offers a selection of 60 different vibrant watercolor based ink. The Ecoline brush pen is really fun to work with and my favorite part is the wet ink flow and the effect that it creates as you write. Another great feature is that you can also recharge the pen with the Ecoline watercolor ink which makes it environmentally friendly. To top things off, the Ecoline brush pen comes with a second tip in case the first one starts to fray. You just screw the top off, flip it and screw it back in. Moving on, we have the Sakura Koi brush pen. The size of the nib is medium large. The nib elasticity is mid-firm, the ink flow is medium-wet, and the color choice it comes in 48 different colors. My favorite aspect of this brush pen is the tip. It snaps nice and quickly back in its shape and creates an enjoyable writing experience. 
I also noticed that this pen is quite durable. I've been using the same pen for months now and it still writes as I bought it yesterday. It also comes with water-based ink, making it fully blendable with other colors. Next on our list is the Pentel Fuda Touch Brush Pen. The size of the nib is small, the nib elasticity is soft and doesn't require a lot of pressure. The ink flow is medium wet, but it can also be dry with faster strokes. As for color choice, you only have 12 colors to choose from. The Pentel Fuda Touch is another popular choice for brush calligraphy. The small and soft nib makes it extremely easy for beginners to use it. The ink is also water-based and fully blendable with other colors. However, you don't really buy the Pentel Fuda Touch for blending. A feature worth mentioning about the Fuda Touch is the resilience of this brush tip. Even if you're using rougher paper, it still works perfectly fine. A quick note about the Fuda Touch. There is a similar looking version called the Pentel Felt Tip Sign Pen. They look very similar to the Fuda Touch, but it's a totally different pen. These pens don't have a flexible brush tip, so it's not suited for brush calligraphy. The most noticeable difference and the one you want to get is the one with the glittery barrel. Number five on our list is the Karin Brush Marker Pro. The size of the nib is large, medium large. The nib elasticity is medium and leaning towards soft. The ink flow is extremely wet and it comes in 60 vibrant and beautiful colors. The Karin Brush Marker is one of the latest brush pens I ever tried. I wanted to send a special shout out to the team over at Karin for sending me a sample of their brushes. I've been using and testing these pens for the past couple of months and honestly it quickly became one of my favorite brush pens. Not only it's easy to work with, but it's also one of the best brush pens for color blending that you can find on the market today. It has quite a heavy ink flow, so be sure to use watercolor paper if you plan to do any color blending. Up next, one of my favorite pens, the Crayola Marker. The size of the nib is large, but you can easily achieve smaller size strokes. The Crayola doesn't have a flexible brush tip. It's more of a broad pointed tip that surprisingly allows you to create both thick and thin lines. The ink flow is medium wet. There are so many different colors and after plenty of research, I couldn't find the exact amount, but I'm sure you'll be able to find more than 30 or even 40 colors available. The Crayola marker is an exception for this list since it's not technically a brush pen. It has a semi-firm broad tip that you can bend if you add enough pressure. The best result is, however, achieved if you combine pressure with a lower angle of the pen. Too much pressure as you write can actually decrease the control of your movements. I'm not gonna lie, it does take a bit of time to get used to these pens, but once you do, they are just terrific to work with. The best thing about the Crayola markers is that they are super cheap and super durable, which in my book, it's a huge pro. Next up, we have the beloved Tombow Fude no Suki. The size of the nib is small, the nib elasticity can be both firm and soft as the Tombow Furunesuki comes in two variations, soft and hard nib. The ink flow is medium, leaning towards dry. And as of recent, this pen comes with 10 different colors. This is probably the favorite brush pen in the whole calligraphy community, especially among beginners. A couple of weeks ago, I asked the awesome people from my Facebook group about their favorite brush pens and the Fudenosuke won the most votes by a substantial margin. It's safe to say that the Fudenosuke is an amazing brush pen. It's cheap, it's durable and it's extremely easy to work with. As I mentioned earlier, it comes with both a hard and a soft tip. I personally enjoy working more with the hard tip, but the soft tip is great as well. Another cool thing about these brush pens is that they are made from recycled plastic which makes them at least partially environmentally friendly. Kudos to Tombo. Number eight is the Zig Kuretake Brushables. The size of the nib is large. The nib elasticity is medium. The ink flow is medium wet. Color choice is limited to 24 colors. The Zig Kuretake Brushable features a dual brush tip, meaning that on each side, there is an equally sized brush tip. Also, the two sides are in different colors. So for example, the pen I have is black, but the other tip comes in a gray color. In total, there are 12 different pens, but each one of them has two colors, hence the 24 colors available. Next up is the Lyra brush pen. The size of the nib is medium large. The nib elasticity is medium firm. It has a medium ink flow, and you can choose between 24 different colors. 
The best way to describe the Lyra brush pen is to say that it's the younger sibling of the Tombow Dual brush pen. These two pens are very similar. It has a second smaller firm tip on the other end and a bit smaller sized brush nib. It also comes with water-based, fully blendable ink, but with a much smaller color choice available. All that at nearly half the price of the Tombow Dual brush pen. So if you're on a tight budget, this might be the right brush pen for you. The last on our list is the Sakura Pigma Professional. It comes in three different sizes, small, medium and bold. Unfortunately, I only have the small and medium size. The nib elasticity is quite soft. The ink flow is medium. As for the colors, it only comes in black. I like these pens. Writing with them is very smooth and it has a very dense black color. An intriguing feature of this brush pen is the archival Pigma ink, which means that it's waterproof, fade resistant, and most importantly, it doesn't bleed nor feathers through most papers. And there you have it folks, 10 of the best brush pens for calligraphy beginners. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up. I'll be making videos more frequently from now on, so this way you'll be able to see when I publish a new one. I would also love to hear it from you. What is your favorite brush pen? Let me know by dropping a comment below. Until the next time, stay awesome guys, cheers!